How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video. Today we got something pretty exciting going on. My Mustang right here is gonna have one hell of a day, okay? We're gonna go out to the middle of nowhere. I got a couple buddies meeting me out there. We got a boosted 350Z, E85 Z01, a, what is the other guy? Full bolt-on E85 STI, some fun ass cars. We're gonna go out to the middle of nowhere. We're here in SoCal. We're gonna go out to Mexico, to the middle of nowhere, have a whole lot of fun. Digs, 40 rolls, 60 rolls, whatever the hell. I mean, it's just legit, like almost like a mile long of just straight road and it is great. So we're gonna go out there, have some fun. Right now though, I need to throw some methanol in the back, make sure everything is good, check my oil and everything. It's always better to be safe than sorry. So we're gonna throw in some fresh methanol. We're gonna check the oil levels, just make sure everything's good and then we'll We'll get heading out there I actually lost my jug of methanol it got crushed by the surfboard right there so i have to make a new jug i use obviously a jug of methanol but i also use this little gasoline stealing pump right here i just use gravity and science to make it work i'll show you guys let me get my tripod really quick All right, so this is what I believe is the most efficient way of doing it. When you're pouring out of these fucking jugs, it just spills everywhere, it gets really messy. And so like this, 100% of it pretty much is going into the jug. What you have to do is create pressure. So you put your thumb on the tip, pump it a couple times. You'll see the fluid start to spew out dump it really quick into there and then you're good. I mean, I feel like it's the easiest way. I don't think I'm gonna do a mixture today of water. I think I'm just gonna go straight methanol. I'm just gonna add a little bit though. You know, I don't think we're gonna use all that much, but I need that a little extra kick. You know, these are some serious cars out there. So I wanna get all of the, all of the, you know, speed and all of the power I can get out of my little tiny three valve Mustang. All right, so we got our jug here. Good old fashioned methanol. Gonna add just a, a smidge up spilling. That's not good. Hopefully it doesn't smell like it. This shit is really cold. If you get this on your skin, it is really cold. <laughs> All right, we went up maybe a quarter to a third of it. So that's pretty good. I think we should be fine there. Like I said, we don't really need all that much. When I go out racing, I usually have some leftover anyway. So I will bring the jug with me. Let me find the cap for it, but I will bring the jug. Now time for the good old fashioned cold start. for just a second i realized i just forgot to check my oil i'm gonna let it heat up for a bit and then i'll turn it off and check it it should be fine i don't think honestly i'm low on oil i checked it not too long ago so we should be good but it sounds great i mean i just love hearing the sound of my car on a cold start i love hearing the sound of it in general yesterday i was cruising on the freeway and i was right up next to the center divider and it just sounded beautiful it just sounds like it's smacking oh and i cannot wait to tell you guys the new mods that are coming we have some big shit planned like i want to tell you guys so bad i already told you guys that cams are coming but that's just a smaller of the two we have something coming that is going to set my car from 500 horsepower to about maybe 700 800 horsepower something big okay you guys can try guessing i'm not going to say if you guys are right or wrong but you guys can try guessing in the comments let me know what you guys think it's going to be but honestly i cannot wait i am so pumped for that not too far away now maybe one or two months once i get paid i'll have a realistic idea of how far away it is but i honestly can't wait let me go see uh what the the gauges are at. i don't know if it's heated up just yet it looks like we do need some fuel temperature gauge yeah we still need a little bit more to heat up i like my setup in here okay it's gonna look different in here though once i get my new setup that's a little hint it's gonna look a little bit different there's gonna be some different stuff in here so it is hot as fuck and as you guys can tell i didn't do my hair or anything like that my, i plan on wearing my gopro later today but i mean it is just super fucking hot i'm still in this long sleeve which is kind of my fault i'm kind of a dumbass for that i don't know where the sun's at i don't really record this early okay i'm not really used to this but it is it is just fucking hot as hell i'm sweaty i look all musty my hair's all fucked Ah, it's gonna be fun though. It's gonna be fun today. I'm gonna try to make it uh, heat up a little bit faster just by revving it up a little bit. Act like we're driving a little bit. Nothing uh, fancy. Ooh. Ooh. Listen to those pops. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit. One second, one second, I'm up. Right, guys, so I don't know what the fuck that was. I'm honestly, like, I'm, oh my god, okay, so I put down the camera, I popped open the hood, my camera's acting up right now too, my stabilizer's all shaky, but I put down the camera, I opened up my hood, and I saw smoke, I don't know where it's coming from. I mean, I looked at it, and like, I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know if something's burning, I don't know if something's getting through, 
it looks fine to me, but fuck. Okay, so I'm going to set up my tripod, record it, and then hopefully, I mean, fuck, I don't even, my fucking, oh my god, I don't even know what to do. All right, so this might be the dumbest idea, but I'm going to turn on the car and just see if it happens just out of it doing it. Um, I don't know if it was because I was trying to heat it up a little bit faster and rev it. I mean, I'm, I'm fucking, I don't even fucking know. I'm, I'm, I'm losing my mind right now. Um, fuck, because this puts everything on hold. I hope it's nothing. I hope maybe, I don't even know what the fuck it could be. You know what, let's just start it up. All right, so it's not doing it, so maybe we got lucky. Um, don't know what the fuck that was. That kind of puts me on nerves today. Um, again, my stabilizer is acting up. It's shaking a lot, but that's besides the fact. I'm, worried, I'm more worried about the car. I hope you guys can hear me. I think we're good. Maybe I'll try tapping the gas a little bit just to see if it happens, because honestly, it sounds fine. It looks fine right now. I'm not, I don't know. Maybe we're, go maybe we're okay, maybe we're okay. Okay, so I saw smoke. It looks like it's coming from the front of the engine. I'm fucking terrified now because it's every time I gas it, it seems like. So at low RPMs, it's okay. I, I don't even know what the fuck it could be. I'm about to call my buddy. Um, What the fuck could it be? Like, what the fuck? Alright, so after some looking, I still can't find it. I'm gonna call up my buddy really quick. Let me put this on hold. Obviously, I'm recording with my phone, so I can't do both at the same time. I'm shitting my pants here. Not not trying to be funny, but I'm shitting my pants here because I'm scared. I don't want my engine to fucking... I don't even know. Fuck. I just got off the phone with him. We're going handheld really quick because I don't feel like using the stabilizer. And I mean, honestly, this is probably the best idea because my hand is a little shaky. But I'm looking and like there's still smoke kind of coming out. I don't know where the fuck it could be coming from. He's saying maybe coolant is leaking on something, hopefully, and it's just, it's cooking, but my coolant hoses feel like they're all intact. My coolant reservoir is still full, so I don't even, it's, I'm, I'm fucking worried, okay, because my oil gear pump has gone out before. That happened, almost, I want to say around a year ago. I think April it happened. I had to take it in, and they put in a new oil gear pump. We went with an upgraded one, so I don't think it's that, but I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck it can be. I hope it's nothing major. I hope it's not the blower. Uh, this is fucking a nightmare <sighs> all right so after another phone call with him what i'm gonna do is set the camera up right here and hopefully we can see exactly where it's coming from um from over there you can't really tell hopefully we can see exactly where it's coming from from here i think this angle will be a bit better um i don't know i don't even feel like making this i mean well fuck it you know you got to record your life i guess when you do youtube but i don't even feel like recording right now but uh, let's just uh set up the camera all right, I'm gonna go start it. I'm gonna let it idle for a second, and then I think I'm gonna try to tap the gas like I was doing before, just do the exact same thing. Hopefully we can see where it's coming from. You guys will be able to see before me. I'm just gonna see the, the smoke and you know maybe some tears coming out of my eye, honestly, because uh, I don't know. I hope, I hope it's nothing major, but well, I guess we'll find out right now. Yeah, so on idle, it looks fine, which is fucking weird. I mean, I guess it could be a show car now. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, to try to make light of the situation, I guess I could just go park it somewhere and make it look pretty. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess at idle, it's fine. All right, I'm going to go tap the gas and see what happens.
All right, all I could see from in there is obviously smoke coming out, so I'm gonna review this footage really quick. I saw a fuckload of smoke, it didn't get any better. If anything, it looks fucking worse now, so uh, not working great. Uh, I still see it coming out right there, so wherever the fuck it's coming from, it's uh, in the front of the engine, it looks like. So I don't even know what the fuck that can mean, honestly. Oh my god. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even wanna think about what this can fucking mean, okay? I don't wanna, you know what, here, let me just review the footage. All right, so yeah, after reviewing the footage, it looks like it's coming from this area right here. And I mean, on this side, we can't see jack shit. We got my alternator right there. Down here, we can't really see jack shit either. I might have to take off my tube, but then I don't want to start up the car without a filter on there. So I might handheld it, start it up, and just do a quick little walk around of it. Hopefully, it's nothing major. Um, like, it's fucking weird because like I can't see jack shit right there. I can't see where it can be coming from, honestly. Like, all these lines are connected and shit. Like, I fucking have no idea. I'm hoping it's just a coolant thing. Maybe something's getting onto the belt. I honestly have no fucking idea. Let me start it up. Do a, do a little walk around. And um, hopefully we're all good. Maybe, you know what? I haven't checked the exhaust pipes. Maybe we'll see if there's smoke coming out of the exhaust. Maybe that will help determine something. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know. Just now thinking of every possibility. So let me start it up. Oh, wrong fucking pedal. Everything looks fine in here. I mean, yeah, we're running out of gas. We're almost up to temperature. So I don't even fucking, what about the air temperature in there? Air temperatures at what, under a hundred? All right, let's check the exhaust pipes. So I don't see anything coming out of the rear, so that's good. Um, underneath the hood. It looks fine. I don't even fucking know. It looks fine to me. So I'm gonna let it idle. I'm gonna let it get pulled up to temperature and then we'll see. There we go. No, I'm, I'm not even revving it. I'm not even fucking revving it. We're up to temperature, and I just saw some f fucking smoke or whatever come out. I'm not even fucking revving it. I'm not even fucking near the pedal. All right, let's go see. It's just doing it on its own now. I have no fucking idea. Uh -uh. Yep, see, there we go. There we go. It's fucking still doing it. It's still fucking doing it. It's now worse. It's getting worse and worse. What fucking line is it? What is that? What the fuck? Alright, so it's whatever the fuck that is. I don't know what the fuck that's connected to. It looks like it goes down under the car. Let me turn off the car really quick. It goes down under the car. What the? Under the car? Oh, it's fucking on the ground. What the fuck? Oh, it's just a fucking fog machine. Well, won't you look at that? Oh my god. Wow, who fucking hooked this up to my car? Wow, well that explains a lot. You know, you shouldn't have a fog machine hooked up to your car. Got him! Got you guys. I hope I got you guys, okay? I put a put a little bit of thought into this one. I know I see I see some other car YouTubers that do stuff similar to this. I know Chris Fix does like the whole like muffler bearing and shit like that or exhaust bearing. And I wanted to get a I wanted to get in on the action. So yeah, I hooked up a fog machine to my car. My car is fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have been revving it. Um, I wasn't going that high when it was still a little bit cold. I was going up to 2,000 and that was it. So no, I wasn't really destroying my car. My car is absolutely fine. A big mod still to come. Just wanted to fuck with you guys really quick. Had some fun making this one. Um, I don't know. It's still going on in the background. It's now on a timer and it just keeps doing it. But uh, I mean, honestly, that was a lot of fun. Um, if I got you, let me know. Down, let me know down in the comments. But don't spoil it. Don't spoil it for the other people that haven't seen this video yet. Tripping on shit. Don't spoil it. I tried to make it as believable as possible. Pretty much everything that I did in the video was to try to make it believable. So if I got you, just let me know down in the comments. My car, like I said, is fine. Don't worry about it. The fog machine is not permanent or anything like that. Sadly, I will not be racing today, though. That was all just you know for the video. So I apologize for that. I will try to go out and get some racing footage soon i had a lot of fun making this video like i said if i got you though let me know if you enjoyed this video click that like button i would say if you want to see more videos like this then subscribe but i don't make videos like you know fucking with people so if you want to see more of this car subscribe and until next video peace